Big wrestler, check. Face paint, check. Mask, check. Luchasaurus, AEW Unrivaled Series 5. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel as we start a week of AEW Unrivaled Series 5 reviews on the channel, and you guys know where I'm starting. I'm starting with Luchasaurus. You heard me at the soft open. Masked figure, big figure, face painted figure. You guys know that checks all my boxes. All my boxes. It's one of the sayings on the channel. Gotta get a deal. Turtle anxiety. See you later. And then the big and the mask and the face painted. You guys know I love this stuff. And this is exactly what I love in a wrestling figure. Toyetic to the 10th degree. I see a little kid walking down the aisle. He sees something like this, doesn't even know what wrestling is. Guess what? He's going to want to buy this. And I was no different. I'm no different now than I was then. And I think a lot of kids are in the same boat. So you knew I was unboxing this one first. Uh, there's no way I'm passing up Luchasaurus. Probably one of the most exciting figures uh, to come this year that we at least know of that I was uh, anticipating. So very excited to open this one up. As you guys know, I got it at Ringside Collectibles, ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. But we're going to do this like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging, talk about it, unbox it, talk about it, and see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at the packaging on good old Luchasaurus. All right, by now we're familiar with this AEW packaging. We're five series in. Can you believe that? Series six is right around the corner, but we're five series in. We got Luchasaurus finally. Finally, we're getting what I'm wanting here. Uh, but very similar. We've seen the packaging before. Like I said, very classic superstars in inspired. So very cool uh, looking through these, and you guys know how it goes by now. So there he is on the front. I don't see any paint application issues right off the front, so I like that a whole lot. Got the nice glamour shot down here below. Uh, Unrival collection, of course. Luchasaurus. Uh, you guys name right there on the side in the gold font, gold foil lettering, I believe it's called. There's AEW. You guys picture there. What number is he? Number 41 in Series 5. That just doesn't seem possible, but here we are. Number 45 is Luchasaurus. All Elite Wrestling on the other side, of course. And then the back. That's where the magic happens, on the back. Look at that big glamour shot up top there. It's, I guess it's not really a glamour shot. It's, it's like he went to glamour shots. It's not a figure glamour shot, but picture of him what he's looking like there and then you got the whole lineup down below to me i don't know do you what do you guys do you tell me in the comments i would rather see pictures of the figures than actual pictures of the people maybe that's just me but that's how they've been doing it and i guess they're going to stick to it uh, so you got the rest of uh, series five down below there and then the big picture of luchasaurus what's it say here it says uh, luchasaurus that's his autograph that's kind of a cool feature we've seen that before as well from double or nothing 525 2019 las vegas nevada and yeah, you got John Max Moxley, Scorpio Sky, Frankie Kazarian, Adam Page, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy. That's the whole set. As you guys know, we'll unbox the whole thing. Uh, we'll talk about it. And then at the very end of the week, I'll put a video together. I'll put all those for the people that like to watch them together. And then at the very end, I'm going to rank them in order of favorite to least favorite. I, I don't know. I, I got to think this will be my favorite. But you never know. Stranger things may happen. Uh, so I'm taking a little look-see at, look at Luchasaurus on the back here. Everything checks out. This thing is just next level. But we'll see what level it takes to as we got to unbox it. So let's jump in. Let's see what's going. Let's see what's doing here. Pulling it open like an absolute maniac. Just ripping them apart. As you guys know, I got a uh, mint on card set of these as well. Uh, see you later. There it is. There it is. We're getting there. All right. There it is. Luchasaurus out the back. There's that yellow flame background. We've seen it in the past. See you later. And see you later up high. All right, let's soak it in. Drink it in. The Luchasaurus. Big tattoo work on here. I didn't mention that earlier. You guys know I love that big tattoo work as well. Very, very solid. So here he is in the old plastic prison. First impression. I like it. I like what I see. First impression. He comes with two extra hands, as you can see there as well. I think that's all right. I like that he has the two open hands on him. Very Jurassic-esque. Very uh, dinosaur-esque, I guess. I don't know what that means, but see you later. All right, well, we got the plastic around his waist. We're used to this with Jazzwear. They uh, really protect their figures with some of these plastic. We saw Orange Cassie with plastic over his head. We're seeing this right here, pulling this all out. There it is. Got his little plastic diaper off is what it seems like. 
All right, where do we got? So first, first is the worst. The first thing I notice, the first thing is I pull it out. They have not fixed those elbow joint issues. Uh, we'll see the rest of the figures along the way. I was a the, my really only gripe was series four, and it looks like it has continued to series five. Is that elbow? joint i could see little kids playing with this and breaking these arms off just like that very easily very wobbly there's not a you can't put much pressure on this elbow joint or it'll break right off both of them are that way so that's I, they gotta fix that they gotta somehow tighten that that's the only flaw i feel with the design of these figures so far i love the joint movements on these all the articulation is as usual you know you got the ankles you got the knees you got the thigh cut you got the th hip swivel you got the waist you got the ab little crunch there uh hands of course removable hands you got your elbows you got your bicep swivel you got your shoulders and then of course the head moves around but let's take that out so that is the negative right off the top and that has not changed and i i am expecting to see that in the rest of the series luckily i'm not a hardcore player with my toys i guess we'd say i'm not a little kid playing with these but there's got to be a lot of upset kids if there's kids out there that have these that are breaking these off i i gotta believe that is happening he doesn't come with soft goods, but he does come with a non-removable belt, kind of his loincloth, I guess we'd call it. Uh, that is on there. It is movable around, but it is not removable as far as taking it off unless you you know, pull the torso off and all that, which, as you guys remember with these AEW figures, you can pop the arms off and, and do some changing. Very similar to He-Man Origins and stuff like that. These are really customizer-friendly uh, at the end of the day. But let's talk Luchasaurus here. We got that out of the way. This head sculpt is next level. This is one of the best head sculpts I've seen in a wrestling figure in a heck of a long time. I love that they got his tongue out. I love that they got the, the goatee beard down there. Of course, the mask with the horns on it. You got the green, bright green uh, braid in the hair that really pops out. Very, very, very cool. Very solid. Uh, mask is not removable, as you can imagine. As we haven't seen Luchasaurus without a mask. I'm sure one day he'll do the whole cane thing where he demasks years from now. Uh, I'm sure we'll see it. It always seems to happen. But man, is this thing cool. And it's a big figure. You guys know I love big figures. That's what I love about this. He's big. He's masked. He's tattooed. The face paint is next level. I love the gold down here. But then you got the uh, almost a snake-like pattern. Almost reminds me of Jake the Snake uh, tights back in the day. Maybe that uh, King of the Ring match with Austin. Didn't he have similar kind of a pattern to his pants? Uh, that's kind of what's going on here. We got the dragon tattoo. I believe it's a dragon. Flowers dragon. I always thought it was a dragon, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe it's just floral. I guess it is just floral. Like trees and branches and stuff. But it wraps all the way around his body. Just next level paint job. This paint job cannot be easy to do. Uh, I totally get that. And then he's got the arm gauntlets that are tied up. You got that. Man, this is solid. So another thing, I guess I didn't realize this in the prototype pictures. Maybe I missed it, but he does not have shoes on. So he's got the bare feet, uh, a lot like, uh, I believe it was Ortiz. Wasn't it Ortiz last ser series that had that? You got the knee pads on him as well. I guess I thought that was molded. That is a separate piece, his knee pads here. And then you got molded in. The, the tassels are molded in. They're not soft goods. They could have went soft goods with that, but they didn't. I don't mind the mold here. I think that works all right for me. Uh, but yeah, bare feet and then painted black. And then you've got the bottom black here. And then the, the wrap around from his uh, shin guards, wraps, feet wraps uh, going over there. So that's good attention to detail. It would look really weird if this was all black on the foot. So they wrap the gold around. So that's, that's a lot of attention to detail here on this big figure. Uh, I love it. Let's put it, just for the heck of it, I have it sitting on my desk here. Uh, how about Great Kali? One of the giants of wrestling. But here is Great Kali's basic figure. And then we'll put that next to Luchasaurus. Scale's pretty good. I mean, what's great, Kali? Seven foot four. Is Luchasaurus six eight? Is that right? So I mean, it's close enough. I mean, I'm glad Luchasaurus isn't taller than Great Kali. Obviously, this is a Mattel product. This is a Jazzwares product. Uh, but side by side, you get a little bit of a comparison here. Uh, so that is pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad that scale's okay because I guarantee there's a lot of people out there that are mixing the AEW figures in with their Mattel Elites and maybe even their Super 7 figures, stuff like that. So a little smoke and mirrors going on. Nothing wrong with that as a collector. I totally can get behind that. But like I said, guys, this is solid. I don't know why you wouldn't pick this one up. This is a must-have. It could be the most must-have figure in the AEW Jazzwares line to this point, at least for me. That's me talking. I'm sure there's people that agree with me. I'm sure there's people that don't. But my opinion, you can't go wrong with this figure. Uh, I'm glad I got one MOC. I do have the Jurassic Express 2-pack from ringside coming as well. So I'm going to be swimming in some Luchasauruses. But give me Luchasaurus all day long. I would love to see more color out of him. If he could change his mask color up, stuff like that. 
I mean, this could be the modern day Ultimate Warrior as far as uh, mask, face paint, all that kind of stuff going. Uh, there doesn't get much more toyetic than this Luchas Luchasaurus figure. And you'll see some of the other ones in Series 5. Jungle Boy, you got to have him to go with this. But Jungle Boy is a very plain figure. So we got some yin and yang in the line. But I don't think you'll get more colorful, more design. Uh, a better figure in Series 5 than this one. That's my first impression without even opening these other ones. So that's how excited I am for this one. So it looks very solid. We still don't have AEW Jazzware stands. I know I get questions about that a lot. Do you have stands that fit? As you guys know, ringside collectible stands. My favorite stands, the peg hole is just not big enough. So we're still in that. That'll affect all the other figures. So we won't get to do the ringside collectible stand test here. But man, is this next level. This is a must-have figure, guys. I think this one will be flying off the shelves, like I said. I think you'll be collecting... People that collect Jurassic Park stuff might even pick this up. This could very well cross over to a lot of different categories of toy collectors out there. Just how cool it looks with the face paint and everything else. So there you have it. Luchasaurus finally in the house. Definitely going to be a top contender in the AEW top 10 figures of the year for me. There's no question. There's no question this will be in the top 10 list for me. Uh, so I'm very excited to own this, like I've said repeatedly in this video. I recommend you go to ringside as well. If you can, use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. So there it is. My boy, Luchasaurus. So there you have it, another AEW Jazzwares Unrivaled Series 5 figure review. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on social media, at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. Of course, like this video. Of course, subscribe to the channel. And for the whole AEW crew of Series 5, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.